From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons at LA Late, and I am back with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check of 2021 today. In this recording, we go over the incredible great news about that monthly stimulus check, what the White House said, what the Congress said in the last 48 hours. It's all incredible great news. And we'll go over how much you anticipated to get that monthly stimulus check comparing the House bill versus the Senate bill. Then the second half of this video, we go over the incredible fist stimulus that'll raise your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and railroad benefits, and why there was a major announcement from the White House yesterday that helps you additionally on top of that. Wow, incredible great news. And then the middle of the video, we go over the thousands of dollars the viewers continue to get, and it's your opportunity to get it as well. It's a big afternoon. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be here. Let's get to it. Let's get to the money. Let's get to Afternoons LA Late. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you are having a beautiful afternoon this wonderful day. Uh, it is good here. It's supposed to be very hot in LA next week. So let's see what's going to go on then. They're predicting 89 degrees uh, by the coast. But so far, it's beautiful. A little bit sunny, as you can tell, so far. But tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. I appreciate all the wonderful comments you left while I was uh, not alive with you up until yesterday's evening's LA. If you missed last night's evening's LA, that was live on air, a lot of fun. But in this recording, we're gonna go over that fourth stimulus check, how much you're gonna get it, when you're gonna get it, all the details you need to know, and the breaking news in the last 48 hours that impacts this fourth stimulus. It's all great news. <laughs> then the second half of this video, we go over fifth stimulus, the raise your benefits off, and the breaking news from the White House that impacts that fifth stimulus as well. Then the middle of the recording, we go over the incredible money that lifts your benefit, that gives you thousands of dollars and your money to get because we're, we're cashing checks on this channel, not tracking them. And this is Alalite, the only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel. The fastest growing, the most comprehensive, and the most successful, and the most loving. I've been loving all your loving. So make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that subscribe button, 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year, next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, it really helps. And consider becoming a member. Let's get right into the details. That first four stimulus check, let's start with the two items at issue. Before we get into the breaking news, the fourth stimulus check has a Senate bill, excuse me, Senate proposal and a House bill. The House bill from Jalapal provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal provides a stimulus check of June, July to December. The House bill from Jalapal provides the first month it would be $2,000, $1,000 thereafter. The Senate proposal provides a monthly check unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Yes, wow. That is per person. $2,000 a person over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Now, before you vote, if you're in the live chat just after 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Get ready to vote House or Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from. But let's go over the macroeconomics that could impact Jalapal's bill. Jalapal's bill, pandemic plus one year monthly stimulus check, may get modified because the pandemic may be deemed over by the time a vote occurs. That would result in a stimulus check for one year, not pandemic plus one year. And one year under the House bill is $13,000 over 12 months compared to this <laughs> over six months. I think you have an opinion. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump into the live chat right now and vote House of Senate, House of Senate, and tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather. All right, let's go over all the incredible other details you need to know this afternoon's LA about that four stimulus check of 2021 today. First, the fourth stimulus check, who gets it? You do. <laughs> if you got the third stimulus check, you would get the fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is for individuals, 75000 or less, you get the fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get the fourth stimulus check. 
Uh, adult dependents, minor dependents, everyone. Household, four, family of four or less, you get the four symbols check. And if you're on benefits, congratulations, you get the four symbols check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits, you get the four symbols check. The four symbols check is not income, so it's not taxable. The forced stimulus check is not a waivable check. It doesn't come out in waves, so you don't wave to it. High check, no, it comes in a monthly basis. And the forced stimulus check will rise the same amount for every individual, adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else. That is wonderful news. And that is the start of the four stimulus check update of 2021, the first of three parts in this video. The elected officials, of course, represent that the vote would be by July 4th. That means you would get the first check in the month of July for the month of July and in the month of August for the month of August. They make the representation, representations, not me. I'm not voting on it. I'm not in the legislature, at least not yet. <laughs> I'm not your president, at least not yet. So uh, they make the representations, not me. I'm just a reporter. But coming up later in this video, I have the breaking details about what's going on with that four stimulus check and the four stimulus package. It's wonderful. So stay with me. That's coming up in just a second. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video, which goes over fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus raises up your benefits in the fall. It's a two-bill, two-step process, reconciliation as well. That starts in September and raises up your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, veterans benefits, and more. But the new benchmark and how it works, I'll be going over that in a second. And why? That benchmark, which will be the highest of a generation, will raise your benefits up a lifetime. Wow. But first, <laughs> let's get some money. There is thousands of dollars available for you to get rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, homeowners assistance, assistance, and more. And it's all from Third Stimulus. Remember, this channel is about cashing checks, not tracking checks. We're not going, check, check. Oh, when's a check in the mail? Can you track me? When? No, we're cashing checks. And there's a lot of money for you to get. This channel started with me getting people checks in uh, early 2020. I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans to save their businesses, save their homes, and save their employees' homes. But for me stepping in, those EIDL loans were not getting approved. But in fall of 2020, we had the same problem again with people not seeing second stimulus yet go out. And I stepped up and got them the rent. Well, here we go again, a next round, and that money is $350 billion of it landing this week and next week. Uh, no, it's not all your $350 billion. <laughs> Don't be greedy. Come on now, share. Uh, <laughs> some for you and, you know, at least a billion for me, please. Uh, so that money is landing and it's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, homeowners assistance, and more. And let's go over the incredible details. Get a pen and paper ready or Crayola crown. Uh, and get that ready, and we will have the details in just a second. You're going to reach out to several locations to get that money because each location has different eligibility. And one may say no, and another one may say yes. They also have their own pots of money. All right, you got that pen and paper ready? Here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. The keywords you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You don't say uh, anything that they don't understand the words to, <laughs> like stimulus. They don't understand that word. So don't say stimulus and don't say sirloin. <laughs> They're like, who? What? Who? No. Oh, yeah, I have watched that channel. No, they don't understand <laughs> that either. So don't say sirloin or stimulus or stimulus sirloin. Uh, they don't understand that. Rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. Now, the in addition to that money, how much money is it? It's $5,000. It's a lot. It's about $5,000 for rent, 46 months of rent. Then there's money for utilities, money for mortgage assistance, and also money for homeowners' utilities. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this money for the rent and utilities recently. But boy, there's another pot of money, and a viewer on Mornings LA this Monday morning revealed in the chat that she had gotten her family $6,000 of this. Lynn Glenn has got it for herself, for her son, and her mom. Uh, uh, Gail has gotten it for herself as well. And what is it? It is the wonderful SNAP. What is SNAP? How much can you get, and how do you get it? Let's go over all the details. SNAP is the money for food that comes from the Department of Agriculture. It goes from now to December with an add-on. How much money is it? How do you get in? Where do you get it? Let's go over all the details. First snap you get from Department of Agriculture. Call them up directly to get it. Generally the same eligibility around the same as a stimulus check. How much? It's a lot. 
Oh, it's a lot. A family of four in Hawaii now gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised everyone's benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. And we are killing it. $15,000 for SNAP for a family of four or $16,000 in Hawaii. And $5,000 for rent. And we are only 10 minutes of this video. We are killing it. And we're just getting started and we're ready to rock and roll. The next pot of money is $5,000 coming from your states. And one viewer got it. It's wonderful. It can be a little bit less. It can be a lot more. Let's go over all the details. The federal government has identified states as overpaying you unemployment assistance due to computer error. And then ask you to return the money back to them. Well, the federal government said, no, that was your money to keep and has now ordered the states to return the money back to you. Yes, wonderful news. So how do you get this money? Automatically onto the account that you have on file with your Department of Unemployment. When do you get the money? Reach out to your respective state. Every state has different rally times. Some states have already started to send the money out. Well, the next pot of money is absolutely been the epitome of the purple power. The purple power refers to the viewership of the channel. Viewers helping each other, viewers keeping people positive, viewers helping one another get from point A to point C. And COD, about a week ago today, jumped into Overnight's Crypto, our hit show on this channel that starts at about 7.30 a.m., 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every night, goes 13 hours, 14 hours. And he jumped to that show to find me to help you. Can you imagine? He went out of his way just to help you. And another viewer a week earlier did the same thing. What was the message? That he got his check. He wanted you to stay positive as well. Wonderful, wonderful caring spirit of this channel, this of the viewership of this channel. So what is this money? How much are you going to get? When are you going to get it? And how do you route? check the routing? Let's go over all the details. This is the money you're getting back from IRS that you paid taxes to on the unemployment benefits from 2020. Let's go over how much it is. For example, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment assistance. You paid $5,000 of total taxes to IRS on that 2020 tax return, of which $4,000 was your taxes on the unemployment portion. Congratulations, you're getting back a check of $4,000. Next, how are you getting the check? If you have it set up for direct deposit like COD, it's going to the direct deposit account. Otherwise, it is in the mail. So be careful with that mail. Go laser, go uh, surgically slowly through the mail because the envelope from IRS is laser thin. You don't want to discard it. Next, when? The month of June. Finally, tracking? Yes. About 70% of the time it works. Go to irs.gov, type in your username and password, set up a free account, and do what's called a transcript search. Search for activity on your social security number. It will 70% of the time work and show the 2020 taxes you filed, the taxes you paid on it, and the refund check you're getting back to IRS. Congratulations. Is there anything more wonderful than that? It is. And it's the second part of our three parts of updates on that forced stimulus check of 2021 today. In the last 48 hours, there have been a lot of major breaking news about that forced stimulus check. And let me go over what you need to know to get caught up today. Number one, the press secretary for the White House was asked, would the president consider forced stimulus checks if the legislators were putting it in there? Specifically addressing the question of the House Ways and Means Committee says they're putting it in there. And the press secretary said the president's willing to agree to it. Absolutely. Of course, it's sort of a misnomer because the president would never veto stimulus checks. No president would ever dare veto setting people's stimulus checks. But the press secretary's statement was, the president loves it. He would absolutely consider it, of course. <laughs> it's not his bill to write, but it's also not his bill to veto. So there, that was the first one. The second one is we now have confirmation, despite whatever happened last Sunday, that the Senate Democratic Caucus is 100% categorically completely aligned not maligned, <laughs> aligned, to agree to pass the president's for stimulus package. There is no dissenters, no is no defectors. Despite what some Republicans may sometimes like to say, there's that one Democrat that's going to ambush you. No, he's not. And it's actually been confirmed that there's complete alignment of the whole Democratic caucus. Number three, this is the one that's very exciting is that the House Ways and Means Committee and another House me, uh, House subcommittee has confirmed they are currently marking up the bill. 
if you don't know what that means, it means they literally have drafts of the bill, the substantive bill, and they are currently working on the language. Yes, there we go. Uh, and there were some other really big, exciting details, and they came last Sunday when the president made a major deal that anchors for stimulus over the finish line with the tow truck and the tow hitch. Let me explain how we got to that wonderful news right now. It started the Friday before Memorial Day weekend when Lita Schumer confirmed not one but three breaking news stories which I had been reporting in the days before. Number one, Lita Schumer had at that time confirmed that the reconciliation process had already begun for four stimulus. Number two, Lita Schumer confirmed that the four stimulus voting process will be done in totality by July 4th. And number three, Leader Schumer confirmed that the bipartisan negotiations that the president endeavors to have will not prevent, derail, or delay the reconciliation process. Let me pause for a second and give you an update about that as well. The negotiations the president's had with Shelley Moore Capito fell apart, as you heard last week, then were back on on Wednesday and then fell apart again, <laughs> then came back on and fell apart again. Uh, and then there's talks that the president may speak to other Republicans. It's, it, it, it is all optics at, everyone, at this point. Everyone knows it's just all optics, that there's no anticipation that there'll be bipartisan relief. That's why we're under reconciliation. But how do we get to that wonderful point and that wonderful message from Chuck Schumer? It started from Jalapal. Jalapal had written Schumer a letter a week earlier, and the, the substance of the letter is not as important as the signatures of the letter. Jalapal wrote a letter to Schumer saying, call the vote on the recon. What are we waiting for? Call the vote on the recon. But who signed the letter is really the wonderful news. The letter was signed by about 12 House Democrats. And who are those House 12 House Democrats? They are among the 100-plus House Democrats who a week earlier had written the president a letter saying, we are going to put multiple fourth stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Now that is wonderful. Can it get better than that? It does. It started uh, days before Schumer's announcement with this letter. Seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter directly saying that we're going to work with you to put monthly reoccurring four stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. And for the first time ever on this broadcast, I'm going to reveal that the letter also mentions that they're going to put stimulus checks into the fifth stimulus package. Yes, that's new for this afternoon. What does that mean, work of him? It means that they write the legislation and they just go over it with him because he doesn't write legislation. He's the president. Presidents don't write legislation. Well, who are these people to say it? They are on the House subcommittee who wrote the first stimulus check, the second stimulus check, the third stimulus check, and now say they're writing the fourth stimulus check and will be writing the fifth stimulus check. To be very clear, they say four stimulus checks will be monthly and reoccurring, but that the fifth stimulus check will be another round of check or checks. Yes. <laughs> and if this is also something new for Afternoon's LA, this letter in particular has gotten a lot of traction in the news media because the letter was specifically asked of the press secretary of this letter this letter was was a, was raised to the press secretary so this letter is consistently cited day in day out and the president says love it love it now how do we get better than that <laughs> we do because over a recent tuesday ago i told you the president had reached out to g7 countries to try to raise their global minimum corporate tax rate to 15 percent. i told you it's a confusing issue very confusing and i said let me slow it down so let me slow it down to you again and explain how we where what it was and where we are right now it's wonderful the president at the time was trying to pay for forced stimulus by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate, currently 21%, to a higher rate. He was then too high. Moderate Democrats said, bring it down. So he said, bring it down. Done. Deal. That was about a month ago. But he still wanted to fix the global minimum corporate tax rate for purpose of forced stimulus because he didn't want a U.S. corporation to flee its shores of the U.S. territories and move, off, move operations overseas, let's say France, where potentially the business could get a lower corporate tax rate. The idea? In conjunction with forced stimulus, Ray get global leaders around the country to raise, around the globe, to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate so that business would not leave U.S. soils and move, let's say, to France. Well, the countries tentatively agreed that recent Tuesday ago to that amount. And the president then told insiders, well, after, at keywords after, 
for stimulus is passed. He will go back to those global global leaders, G7 countries, and have them sign into law that minimum corporate tax rate, global minimum corporate tax rate. And then if they do, then he will drop his U.S. corporate tax rate in the fourth stimulus check. And at that time, I told you, that is wonderful news. Well, what happens Saturday and what is happening either today or tomorrow? Well, on Saturday, the president had a press announcement. And I had told you on Friday, last Friday, be with me this Saturday because something's happening with the president and the G7 countries. I don't understand what he's doing, but be with me because I expect a breaking announcement. And it happened. On morning's LA Saturday morning, I revealed that the president had gotten the G7 countries to agree to the global minimum corporate tax rate for the fourth stimulus before fourth stimulus is signed, in essence, anchoring fourth stimulus to the finish line, and that he would be signing the law of the global minimum corporate tax rate of 15% into law in person with the G7 countries this week. Well, guess what? That signing is coming up in a day or two from now in person. This is huge. This is absolutely wonderful. So he is using the anchor that was a key part of force stimulus to be signed into law by G7 countries ahead of time before force stimulus is voted in finality in July. This is about as wonderful as you can get. And it I was shocked when I heard the announcement. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, so what brings you up to the current position is that the force stimulus is currently in a reconciliation process. Uh, the reconciliation process has the language being written. The legislators have never said anything contrary to what they've said all along, and there's full Democratic alliance on this issue. Well, is there anything better and more exciting than that? There is, and it's the volunteers. The volunteers are viewers just like you, who embody the true spirit of the Purple Power. Viewers helping viewers. We're here to help each other. And the spirit of this community and this family is absolutely wonderful. And what do they do? They step forward and make sure you get that rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, SNAP, because they want you to have it. Because they got it as well, and they want you to be able to find it. So if you can't find it, don't worry. Their view is here to help you as, as, as well. I don't think I've ever seen a community that helps one another like this. And it's absolutely wonderful and i thank them so go find the volunteers they're on the community page how do you find the community page open the description of this video go down the description find a emoji of a house with a link to the community page it's news.la.com forward slash community click that it sends you a link to a web page with a picture of some kitty cats uh they're not the community page <laughs> they're not a youtube channel either yeah there's no there's no kitty cat youtube channel here yet <laughs> <laughs> but go down the page and you will find the volunteers to separate from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them and they'll be able to help you find that rent and utilities and more. Here's a little bit about the community page and the volunteers. I will be back in 60 seconds with you with more exciting details about that fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus package. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA. 
how are you? How's the weather doing? You can see the sun really coming into the set today. Look at all that wonderful sun coming in. It is, it is a clear sky here in Los Angeles. We go full opening, reopening of California next week on the 15th. So how's the weather where you are? Tell me where you're tuning in from and tell me with how the weather is. If you're in the live chat, drop it in there. And I'm probably in the live chat to so say hi. Uh, this is LA. What a day it is, and I'm excited to be back. Subscribe, 200, 400,000 subscribers at YouTube record. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Financial news across the board. I'm next back with you with Evenings LA at 5 p.m., followed by Evenings Crypto and Overnight Crypto. So hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes. Never forget to like a video because it helps in the algorithm rankings. And consider becoming a member. More about that in a second, but first, let's get right to Fifth Stimulus. Fifth stimulus heats up this fall, but in the last 24 hours, we had a wonderful add-on to fifth stimulus being announced. I'll go over all that in just a second. So fifth stimulus is wonderful because it will include that SSI and SSDI reform. It will raise your benefit limits, remove the asset limit, add an inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. First, let me go over that part before I go over the breaking news. So how does this work? It's going to raise your benefits up. Who's you? You. So if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Old Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, um, Survivor Benefits, multiple benefits or other benefits which I had excluded, your benefits will be raised up one big time. Next, they'll apply a benchmark. That new benchmark will be inflation. How does a benchmark work? We all know what inflation is, but what is a benchmark and what does it mean? Every December, they look at that benchmark and they say, should we raise your benefits up? If the benchmark is zero, your benefits stay the same. If the benchmark is a positive number, then your benefits step up. Benefits never step down. So the inflation rate is going to be a whole scope of analysis between now and December because they're going to apply the number in December. But analysts this week, in a relatively quiet Wall Street week, are still trying to determine where the inflation rates are going to go. The consumer price index number is going to be released later this week. There's no corporate earnings being released this week. There's very little statements out of the Federal Reserve. And there's no other real major economic data with the exception of the new jobs number, uh, job list claims released tomorrow morning. So we're trying to find new economic data, but with the exception of the jobs number on Thursday and the CPI, those will be the only two economic numbers for us to gauge where inflation will be this week at least. But most analysts are still putting it 2 to 7%. Let's choose 6% for this example. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply the benchmark. Let's say it's 6% in December. That would raise your benefits up an additional 6%. But not just next year. Lifetime. Because once they step them up, they never step them down. So after that, the, if, they, if the inflation rate the year after that is 0%, then you're still at plus 6%. If the inflation rate the year after that is 1%, then you're at plus 6 and plus 1%. There you go. Then they're going to remove the asset cap, a very old 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in your hand if you're on benefits. Time to get it out of your hand so you can put some stimulus checks on that hand. Then they're going to remove the 1960s law, very old law, that says you can't work and stay on benefits. It's going to go away. And finally, the marriage penalty will die. Love is going to win. You will be able to marry your longtime love interests, not fear losing benefits. And if you are married, no longer be penalized from benefits. So what was that breaking news? Well, it's fascinating. The President of the United States yesterday announced that he is dedicating billions of dollars to the benefits program, not directly for you, but for administrative purposes so that it can facilitate that they send benefits out quicker, faster, more diligent, without any lapses of time or issues like that. It's reassuring because if you recall under third stimulus, we had all these waves of stimulus checks because things were coming later for beneficiaries, later for veterans. So he's dedicating billions of dollars under the new budget bill, which is not the stimulus package, it's a separate bill, for just the Social Security Administration to ensure that your benefits, like potential stimulus checks, come out on time and faster like everyone's else. Wonderful, wonderful news. Which brings us back now to the other items that are in fifth stimulus. And there's a lot of them.
But a single 30 minute video, I never have enough time. And look, we're actually at 29 minutes. Wow, this is a long video. We're actually, so there's not enough time to actually cover the remainder of the items of, third, of fifth stimulus. So consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. In a single day, there's a lot of stuff in there. Why? Because Fifth Stimulus has a lot of other monies for you to get, whether you're a single individual, a single individual for Hazabate, there's money for you. There's money in the Fourth Stimulus, there's money in the Third Stimulus. And by becoming a member every day, I send you, via the community page on YouTube, a breakdown of what's in the Fifth Stimulus, what's in the Fourth Stimulus, and what's in the Third Stimulus law. So you see the money that's available for you, because most of the items are application-based, not automatic. And it's your money to get, but you don't know it exists until you see the membership details delivered to you daily. So consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat on the pinned comment. All right, let's jump back into the final third part of the Force Stimulus Check Update of 2021 in this video. And it's calling the vote and a personal message for me as well. Calling the vote. There is nine steps that passes the Force Stimulus to the finish line. They're required by Constitution. The first half are procedural. The second half are substantive. Step one is the House subcommittee has to vote on the substantive, on the procedural bill. Step two, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate floor votes on the procedural bill. Step four, the president signs into the law, the procedural bill. At that point, the tow truck has passed over the finish line. Time to go back and get the tow hitch, the substantive bill. Step five, the House subcommittee writes and votes on the substantive bill. That's potentially where the House members would put the monthly stimulus checks in there. They don't have to, but they certainly could. Step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight is a two-day votorama in which the senators then amend whatever was given to them by the House. So if the House gave them something with stimulus checks in there, they could leave it alone, or they could amend it. Or if the House gave them nothing with stimulus checks, the senators could amend it and add it in there. And then step nine, the president signs it into law. Finally, personal message. I really appreciate all your wonderful messages while it's gone. <laughs> One person said, uh, I was having LA late uh, uh, withdrawals by not seeing you. And I was missing you as well. So I really do appreciate all the wonderfulness. And with that, um, I wish I had brought you a vase, but I've been told that there is a vase, but there is no vase. <laughs> This is part of my personal messages. There's some people on social media, but not really on the channel, that are saying there's a vase, that four stimulus package vase. It's in there. I've looked in the vase. It's in there. There is no vase. <laughs> the four stimulus has not been formulated into a vase yet. It's not formulated into a vase until you just saw <laughs> we get to the substantive se section. And we're not finished through the procedural section. So they're still writing things. So there's always someone, it's not in there. Well, there is no vase. But let's assume there was a four stimulus package vase. Then by the time the vase goes from the House to the, from the, House to the Senate, the Senate could say, why is this a yellow vase? I don't like a yellow vase. I like a muddle blue vase. They could set it right out and get it amended and make it a blue vase and totally change the look of it and do entirely something different. So it's important to understand that <laughs> we are going through a process and the process involves some steps. It's also important to understand that there are some people that inherently do not like Joseph Biden, the president, that are from the Republican Party that are sometimes not viewers, but people on social media. And it seems as though some of them rather tell you that the president is not giving you something. And it seems as though they take pleasure in telling you that your president is not giving you things because they don't like that president. We don't do that here. So if that's you, please don't do that. <laughs> We have Republicans, we have Democrats as viewers, we have everyone, we have uh, bipartisan, we have independents, we have all type of viewers. And if you don't like the president, I got it. But don't say the president's not giving something to someone because you don't like him. Uh, but for now, the vase is not here, and it's not in there, uh, because the vase is not here. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, thank you for joining me on Afternoons L Light. Uh, remember, it's a nine-step process, and you need to push. It's important to push purple power, and nothing is taken for granted with legislators. Let's recap. Legislators have passed laws and not sent out money. They've written bills and not called it for a vote. They propose bills and never 
written them as a bill. And then he proposed to propose bills and never written the bill as well. So never take anything for granted with these elected officials, whether they're Republican or Democrats. It's important to push purple power. And you, while you have been pushing on social media, you need to push a lot more. Take this video and share it on social media. Hashtag MSE. Hashtag purple power. Don't take anything for granted. Don't sit back and wait for something to land your hand. This is not a donut guy situation. This is a purple power situation. You need to push. And now is the time to push before the legislation is finally wristed, before the vase arrives in the room. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big afternoon's L8. I'm next back with you on evening's L8, followed by evening's crypto and overnight's crypto. And with that, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon. I'll see you in two hours from now as evening's L8 heats up. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, and remember to share this video on social media. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with L8 for more.